Oh shit. Oh! Mia! Oh shit. Well, I mean, it makes sense. Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. What you guys just witnessed was my reaction to the Part 5 promo, of course, for Armageddon that aired last night after Part 4 just ended. Now we're here today with this video to re-watch the promo for Part 5 again, to speculate, to see what we think may happen in this episode, because a lot has went down in these four episodes so far. And based off that promo, thinking back on it, because I only saw it the once last night, it seems that things may not be completely fixed, because just because Barry fixed the timeline doesn't necessarily mean that it's fixed or anything like that, especially with that after credit scene, you know, with reverse flash and everything. So something's up with that. So let's rewatch the promo. Let's get into it and see what they show us here. And let's dive in and discuss, guys. Let's get into it. Okay, timeline's fighting back. Okay. I was picking up some key things that was being said in this trailer. Let's rewatch it and stop it whenever we need to to discuss particular parts because this is very intriguing. Because I was wondering, at the way episode 4 ended, part 4 of Armageddon, what are they going to do in part 5? So now we're getting kind of a sense of it in terms of it, Armageddon may still happen, all that kind of stuff, and Mia and all that. So let's rewatch it again and stop it. The the yep. So the timeline, the end. The timeline is fighting back because he altered it. Because I'm guessing, in terms of the timeline, Armageddon is supposed to happen. Or some iteration of that. So the fact that Barry has now flipped it, essentially, and actually prevented Armageddon, in, in a way, because he ran so fast that he actually prevented it from actually destroying the world. And he's reverted the timeline in a way to where Joe's alive. And he basically just... Because, as we know, if you think back on a very particular scene, I think it's in Season 3 of Flash where Jay is in a, he takes, Jay takes Barry to some sort of coffee shop in the 90s or something, some sort of diner, and shows, like he breaks a cup and then he puts the pieces back together and shows Barry, just because you go back and fix the timeline, it's not completely fixed. So I'm guessing in a sense, Barry thinks this is a done deal, like this is done. No Armageddon? Mm, not necessarily. Maybe that's what they're kind of referring to is that the timeline can never be truly fixed and they've talked about this a lot but that particular scene just sticks in my head in terms of the timeline and dealing with time and all that kind of shit in the show okay i'm gonna go back just slightly here because uh arm again because he was arm again give him what he deserves mia basically <laughs> telling barry don't hold back which is something that barry has done in times but i think in this instance it is the person that killed your mother and the person you just witnessed change the entire timeline because you became faster than him and he was that crazy to where he made you the reverse flash. He became the flash. He had all these people that trust in you and everything turn on you. The only person out of the people that he was fighting last night in terms of being reverse flash during that timeline was Batwoman. He's never met that version of Batwoman before. So it's interesting how that was their first time meeting in a very weird timeline shift. So maybe that's going to set up down the road where we're going to have Batwoman like proper, like Ryan actually showing up in the present day and everything, and they can actually meet for the first time. <laughs> it's be kind of awkward. Yeah, the first time I technically met you was in a weird timeline where you actually thought I was a reverse flash. She goes, huh? <laughs> I would love to have that conversation. But anyways, so Mia's basically saying, don't hold back. I'm curious to see what her involvement in all this is, because... Unless this, like, alters the future for her, in a sense, maybe it does, because, she, like, her whole timeline was taking place way later past Armageddon, so maybe this maybe this timeline shift affects her in some sort of way to where she has to come back in present day. Maybe. He can still bring about Armageddon. Okay, so basically, Reverse Flash can still make it happen, which is not good. Not good, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a big episode. I just I think that they're kind of holding back in terms of let's have some big popping lines, but don't show too much because we're only seeing bits and we're, we're, we're hardly seeing anything. And, and that's what I liked about the part four promo. The part four promo had some highlights, of course, reverse flash talking ear Bart Thawn, but ultimately they hit a lot of really cool stuff from the, from the mark and, and within the episode in the marketing, which is what you should do. But still, I don't know. This episode might be bigger than we think. Hmm. 
Okay, so it seems we're going to be getting hopefully an intense finale here in terms of part five here, the end. Um, I don't know what this. I don't know. I don't know what the future is past the point of reverse slash in this. I've always said whenever the show ends, he needs to be the end game final villain that Barry faces because it, it started with reverse flash. It needs to end reverse flash. That's my opinion. And I'm sticking with that. Um, I don't know. They, they may surprise us and actually get, get, I don't think you can truly get rid of reverse flash completely, but maybe they'll have some sort of way where he'll be gone for quite some time. And when it's the time for the show to end, whenever that is a lot of discussion about when that is, he'll come back and people have been demanding, bring back Matt, the actual ear Thawne actor. Like, we get it, Tom Cavanaugh as Harrison Wells, but uh, being Harrison Wells as Earbart Thawne, Reverse Flash, but bring back Matt Letcher. I think it's pronounced his last name, Matt Letcher. Bring him back to play Earbart again. So maybe they'll find a way to bring both them back in some sort of dual capacity, in some sort of instance where it, whenever it's the when it's the time to finally end the show, bring back Matt as well and Tom. Sure, why not? Bring them both back and have them do some sort of way to kind of tell a story to where we have the actual Earbart Thawne actor matt uh, he's apparently he's really busy so that's probably why they don't try to get him as much as the, as they have in the past but yeah so what you guys think of the part five promo are you guys excited are you hyped are you ready because this is the last episode of the flash until march we have a huge break so are you guys excited for this final episode have you liked armageddon so far whatever thoughts you have guys let me know in the comments below hope you guys enjoy the reaction well my reaction and then this this video discussing and everything and rewatching it talk to you guys soon peace out